When the wall came down, I couldn't wait to go to all the clubs I'd heard about, and when I got there, I was a goner. When I started out, I could never have imagined that I'd ever make it on the international scene, but I was lucky enough to be around when electronic music changed from being a minor subculture in Berlin to becoming a global music culture. I was born on the 16th of December 1971 in Eisenhüttenstadt on the Polish border. It wasn't really my ambition to become a musician, but like your average teenager, I absolutely wanted to learn to play the guitar, so I had guitar lessons. But then I had to play East German children songs the whole time, and that's why I'm not much good as a guitarist. We were lucky enough to be able to leave a week before the wall came down. So on November the 9th, I was in Hamburg and I was watching television when I suddenly saw all these correspondents reporting live from Berlin. We shared in the euphoria from the living room. I went straight back to Berlin from Hamburg and got completely bitten by the electronic music bug. My move from regular party-goer to a DJ was more coincidental than anything else. At some point I started making tapes for myself and a couple of my friends, and so one of my friends gave one of my tapes to a promoter in Berlin, an organizer at the Tresor nightclub, and that's how I got my first gig at Tresor. This is Tresor. It was the temple of techno back in the 90s. Everything you see here is really completely new. There was nothing here before but an old fence. This is where you used to go in. About 15 or 20 meters on, there was a little metal door and that was the entrance. I think what really contributed to the explosion of electronic music in Berlin was the sad state of things, the fact that a lot of companies, especially those in the eastern part of the city, went bust immediately. It meant there were all these enormous spaces just standing empty. And there were a lot of creative people who just said, OK, let's take this room, put some equipment in it, and do something with meaning, something which reflects our music, our way of life, and our life spirit. What the Love Parade did was to send a very, very positive signal from Germany all around the world, and to some extent that good vibe is still resounding today. My first album was released in 1994. I think my second album, Seven Ways, came out in 96, and from that point I very, very quickly made it internationally. In 1999, I set up the Vandit Records label. Ultimately, it's a record company with a single philosophy, and that is that we publish music we think is really, really great. Twenty years ago, I couldn't have imagined standing here. I don't think electronic music would have become the global music culture that it did if Germany hadn't reunified and the wall hadn't come tumbling down.